everyone, this is my summer touch. I wanted to show you my new inserts. Uh, it's called Monthly Gold Workbook. Looks like that. I posted a photo on my Facebook and people are interested what it is and where they can get it. But be before that, um, one of my subscribers, by the way, thank you for this responding from my previous video. Um, it was the giveaway with collab. It was collab with Carrie Harling and giveaway. So one of my new subscribers told me that she wants a three page fold out with the grid. And I made it. She specific, specifically told me that she wanted it in the pocket size. So made it in the pocket size. So what it is, it's just grid with the headers. Like that. Like that. So you can use it for anything you want. For any charts, brainstorming, notes. Even for the bullet journal mind mapping anything you want for to do's for me it's going to be like monthly to-do list divided into categories for me uh, if you've been if you have been watching my videos for me i have six categories for my whole life like um, financial personal family health and beauty social and home so for me it would be like the monthly to-do list divided into six categories as in GTG. I'm making this like that for myself. But you could use it as you want. And I make made it in the pocket size. I made it in the personal size, like that. And I made it in, in the A6 size. It's all going to be in my it's a shop, my summer touch, usually. I mean, of course, it's my summer touch. I'm a summer touch everywhere. Yay. So, let's go to this monthly goal workbook. You will start from here. So, why I did, why I made this insert? Because, you know me, I'm... I've been interested in the GTD personal Kanban system, product, any productivity system, any goal setting workbook, any goal management workbook since forever. If you have been watching my videos, you know that. And these are made for myself just to set goals for the months and also not only to set goals, but to see the progress, like continuous progress from week one to week five. This is the week one, two, three, four, and five. And of course you can print it over and over and over again and use it over and over and over again. It's not dated, it has no dates. Um, I think you are familiar with this smart or smarter set of um, questions it's like the standard questions i i have I've written some of them here like why do i want it because i want to um, feel myself great and wear cute clothes so you go through all of these questions you answer them and what you will get you write here on the first page the first thing is define the goal in a positive way as if it happened already. Positive way is very important, you know that, because if you don't have the positive attitude, you won't get anything. I'm, I'm not in, in even going into this. It's like you have to feel yourself great in order to get something. That's like go without saying. I know that from my own personal experience. So what I, um, this is my weight management uh, goals for 11 weeks. So what I wrote, for me, it sounds like that. Um, enjoying active life, I got into wearing cute clothes, size medium in 11 weeks. So this 
sums up for me. It is clear, it is positive, it is written in the past tense. Uh, category, start date, for me start date was March 11th, finish date June 2nd, total time to spend on the goal 11 weeks, measurement units, centimeters, I don't have the scale at home and the sc I don't like the scales because I'm, I'm not really standard um, in the way that I have a lot of calcium in my body so I, I always waited more than my peers always i know that because i was a model and girls girls usually were saying like i weighed like i don't know 55 i weighed like 58 56 and and for me it was 63 and i've always been asking why myself and i couldn't i couldn't get the answer for these questions and one day the dentist told me that you have a lot of calcium in your body because she was uh, looking at my photos of my teeth and she told me that and I was like now I get that I have a lot of calcium in my bones and that's why I'm way I weigh much more than other people so so I don't really like the scale because it, it's not really I don't have really like the usual bones like like everyone else so for me it is measurements in centimeters um it's like the, the measurements of my body it's not the weight that i'm tracking so i put here the start figures of my body um bust weight and hip uh, bust waistline and hips here then the goal figures here then total change to making units so just um Put it here then change to make in one week i uh, divided this into 11 weeks and how much i change i need to make in one week and then there is the months so for me the start date was march two last weeks of the march then the april these are the weeks count then the countdown for me just just having the calendar doesn't work for me uh, in my experience, I need to see the countdown. So here is the countdown in weeks and here um, I did not put it but I could have calculated the countdown in days. For example, 11 weeks multiplied by 7 days means 77 days. So I would wrote here 77, 76, 75, blah, 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 etc. I just didn't want to write it all down. I just wrote the, the weeks 11 and the week 11 is have already passed so i crossed it out then the, there's the sizes different sizes different measurements just the chart for the reference for myself and then there are the first week here second week um, i'm at the end of the second week today is the saturday so here i'm just writing what are my intentions or to do's and appointments if I have them so I wrote them here and here is the tracker with the keys for example ED means every day E set means every Saturday like I, I I'm going to swim every Saturday gym I'm I have not decided on the gym then uh, yoga every two days blah 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 so zero i have not made it and one is yes so here what i'm going to do is intermittent fasting from 7 pm to 12 noon the next day less than 2000 calories a day then um, approximately 6000 steps swimming every saturday gym maybe water uh, one and a half liter every day yoga every two days uh, haven't been doing it then I track headaches because I have been I have been experienced them and I don't like it uh, then I put energy level and mood level from zero to five from uh, below to up and I am just tracking it 
like I put three, one, two, and three points every day. Uh, the first one on the left for the morning, the one in the middle for the noon, and the one at the end for the evening. So I have three points for each day, and I just like the graph like like that. I just like how it looks like. So I have like rough. Um, rough figures how I feel myself and if I have any energy for this week I love it here at the end uh, I have start figures result figures percentages of done and left and why don't I have it um, I don't know I have my reward here and on go yes or no I have here my um, what I had before, like my first draft, so I put it here. I need to rewrite it here. Uh, start figures. Ninety-one. Five result figures. Ninety-one. So I did not make any progress here. But it's okay because I was just setting this out. My reward get enough. Get enough. Rest. And on goal. No, not this week. So that's how it looks like for the five weeks. And in the back, we have the gold journal. And the week evaluation. So this is week one, week two, three, four, and five. So on the two pages you have the whole month finished like that. So for the week one gold journal, I wrote like here is just like the log journal what you have been feeling like symptoms I wrote that I had my cycle and, and I had my headaches it usually comes with my cycle sorry if you don't need to hear that but that's how it is and the week evaluation how well have I performed unexpected things what will I improve next week so gym decision I put gym decision and I put it here for to do this week Positive moments I'm grateful for. Continue yes or no. And of course I put yes. That's how it looks like. Um, there have been so far two people who wanted it in the A5 size. And I'm going to make it into A5 size. If you want it in um, other uh, sizes, just contact me. Uh, because I don't want to make them just just to put there and they're not selling out so all of this glory is going to be on my Etsy store my summer touch and this is how my jelly looks like right now sorry for my lighting because it's already evening I need to do other stuff I have um, also um, to do the one weeklies in the A5 size and in the pocket size. People are asking me. I'm very glad that my stuff is selling, that you're interested in my inserts. Thank you for making with me so far and I'll see you soon. Uh, if you haven't been sus subscribed, uh, just subscribe to me and put the like. I will appreciate it and put the comments. What would you like to see from me? Thank you very much. And next week is going to be the giveaway result. Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.